Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Michael with Apple Informed and today Apple just released iOS 12.1.4 to everybody. So this comes only a few days after the final release of iOS 12.1.3 and like Apple says, it is recommended for all users and includes important security updates. So Apple usually doesn't say it is recommended for all users unless it includes a crucial security fix, which iOS 12.1.4 indeed does. So if you don't know, iOS 12. 1.4 fixes the FaceTime bug where when you place a call to somebody you could actually hear their microphone and see through their front facing camera with a series of workarounds from the user. So once people started to find out about this and it was circulating, uh, it caught news headlines and people were freaking out and what Apple actually did is they disabled group FaceTime from their own server. So if you went to their website and went to system status before iOS 12.1.4 today we would actually actually see that group FaceTime was unavailable. So Apple does this in case there are any issues like the one we saw with group FaceTime. They always give themselves the option to shut off any features in case there are any big issues from their own server, from their own campus, just so they can completely kill the feature and fix it uh, on their own time. So this is exactly what Apple did. They completely disabled group FaceTime so nobody could make a group FaceTime call. And what they did with iOS 12.0 1.4 is they made it so nobody running a lower version of iOS unless it's 12.1.4 can do group FaceTime. So iOS 12.1.4 enables group FaceTime, and if you are running iOS 12.1.3 or lower, you will actually not be able to access group FaceTime because Apple has still remotely disabled it for that version of your operating system from their server side. So if you wanna be able to do group FaceTime, you do have to upgrade to iOS 12.1.4. It is a pretty small release. I think it was about 90 megabytes here on my iPhone XS Max, but like I said, it is recommended for all users because they always include a few little extra security fixes here and there whenever it is an important update like this. So I would recommend updating if you do want to use group FaceTime. If you don't use group FaceTime, I still would recommend updating just because it's the latest version of iOS and Apple always includes some small security updates and uh, tweaks some of the stability in the performance of the operating system. Other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments about this, tell me in the comments down below. Drop a like on this video. Let's see if we can get to 50 likes. My name is Michael with Apple Informed, and I'll see you in the next video.